Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Media Marauder, and we're here for another TTM reveal. We had some stuff we bought from eBay. We had a few things in the box today, not very many. As you know, I've been collecting autographs for the last couple of years. I send it out to all my favorite athletes, baseball and football and basketball and golf and celebrities, wrestling, hockey. It just depends. It doesn't matter. If you're famous, we're going to send to you. And we try to send 100 letters out a week. Uh, we didn't get the sending out last week. We didn't have the money for stamps, so we're trying to get some money for stamps. If you guys want to help out the channel and buy some autographs or buy some unautographed cards, the links will be in below for my eBay store. Anything you spend in there, I will put towards making this channel better and getting more autographs to show you guys. And uh, let's see, let's get right at it. I'll show you what we got here. If you like this kind of content, please press like. Please comment, all that stuff. The more interaction in the on the group is uh, the, the algorithm will show this stuff more to people. I can't talk tonight for some reason. Uh, Scott Fletcher. On the way over here to the office, I saw a lady uh, wipe out her motorcycle and uh, didn't didn't see if a truck hit her or she, the the car was getting ready to come out and she kind of swerved and dumped the bike. I'm not sure what happened. But I'm, st I'm still a little shaken up because of that, I think. But, yeah, it was, it was kind of not cool to see. But uh, I stopped and helped her for a little bit, moved the bike out of the road. And there were, by then there was a ton of people there, so I just left because, like I said, I didn't see the accident. I just saw her hit the dirt, so I didn't know what happened. It wasn't really dirt. It was concrete, but it wasn't fun. Scott Fletcher, 89 Fleer. These have been out for a long time. 91 Studio. Uh, 92 Bowman. And the 92 gold. All the sets I've been working pretty hard on lately. That's what we like. Here's Casey Cox, 72 tops. Look at this. I think he I kind of, I wonder if he thought he was drunk when he was signing that. See, the got the double vision. There's another 72. One signed in red, one signed in blue. So three from three from Casey Cox. Johnny Morris, a couple, there's a couple 68s, and uh, I don't know what that is, a 64 or 5 Philadelphia, I think. I always get those Philadelphia ones confused because I never got the, never bought them when I was a kid. They didn't have them in my area, plus I didn't start buying until the 70s, and they were gone by then anyway, but didn't see much in my area. Steve Bushell, 89 Stadium Club, 87 Donruss. And one of the top's big cards. I like those cards, too. So we did get four in the box. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, we got some cool stuff coming up. I'll show you a Facebook purchase that I made. This was with Chris Finnerty. I've done a lot of deals with him. I think these ended up being about, I think it was like $14 for this whole pile or something, maybe. I think Bob Horner is like $10, $10 an autograph now, so I got these for like 3 or 4 bucks. Got that sticker. Got the uh, 85 Donruss, the 85 Tops, the 86 Fleer, the 86 Donruss, the 81 Fleer, and the 85 Fleer. You guys know I'm a huge Braves fan. He was like my second favorite player behind Dale Murphy, so I was glad to get those. And uh, these are some eBay purchases. We did buy a Anthony Carter Michigan autographed jersey. Uh, we got that for like 25 bucks. We got this for a dollar. I guess the guy, this, I think he's the starting shortstop for the Reds now. So I thought that was a good price for a dollar. I have a collector that collects every Jerry Rice card. This is numbered to like 99. I'll probably get a few bucks for that. I got 99 cents in it. I guess I'll Jer Bur Joe Burrow like crazy in my area. I live in Ohio. So I picked that up for a dollar. Picked that up for a dollar. I can probably sell those for like three bucks a piece. Here's a rookie T. Higgins. I can probably get. Two or three dollars for that. I had a dollar in it. Paid a dollar for this. I know he's not with the team anymore, probably. I don't know. But still got a cool patch to it. Some of the kids that come in like patch cards. They don't care if they're good or not. Uh, we bought this Nick Bosa refractor for 99 cents. I thought I could get two or three dollars for it. Maybe more. I don't know. Bought this lot here for like, I can't remember, four dollars maybe. Had a Jalen Hurts card on top. Then this Randy Moss, I can pro probably put in a $2 box. <clears throat> a lot of this stuff will probably go in a $2 box. Like here's cool uh, Barry Sanders, 
Troy Palomalu. Cool. Looks like it was some kind of refractor rated rookie. There's Nick Bosa. Is that the card I just bought? That's a different card. Todd Gurley. Michael Irvin. There's an autograph card, a game use card. So like I said, this for four bucks, I thought was a pretty good deal. This is like a numbered, some kind of rainbow, something or other. I don't know. But like I said, four bucks. Wasn't passing that up. I know I could get two to three dollars for Jalen Hurts alone, probably. I think I have two dollars in this here, super villain. It's a nine, so I mean two twenty-five, I think I paid for that. That wasn't bad. I got this, it's a nine. It's got a game use jersey there. Larry Walker, one of the most recent Hall of Famers. I think I paid four dollars for that. Had 99 cents in this one. It's a no, it's seven. I think I had two dollars in this one. It's a six. Have 99 cents in this. It's a nine. PSA nine for 99 cents. Yes, sir. I'll take it every time. This one here was like two dollars. It's a six. But as you guys know, I love my cheap slabs. Uh, last last weekend, I sold seven cheap slabs to one person for ten dollars a piece and i had two dollars a piece in them so i made eight dollars made fifty six dollars on that one sale like i said a lot of people say why do you pick up those cheap slabs because i sell them they sell great for ten bucks i'm telling you they sell amazing it doesn't even matter who they are hardly sometimes you just have people like the card they just like the graded cards or like that team or they like the college team the guy played for or whatever but you just never know all right, guys. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for uh, tuning in. Please hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. Till next time, peace.